Thank you for using GL Sciences products. This video discusses HPLC reproducibility issues between columns. There are many causes, this time we will focus on the effects of the pH in a mobile phase. There are multiple causes and they can be difficult to identify. There are four relatively common causes concerning inquiries we receive. Lot to lot variation. Low robustness conditions such as mobile phase pH. Not enough time taken for column equilibration. Secondary interactions such as silanol interactions. This presentation will focus on the impact of the pH of the mobile phase, on the robustness of a method. ICH exemplifies these points for the robustness of liquid chromatography analytical conditions. ICH is an abbreviation for the International Conference on Harmonization. ICH founding members are the EC in Europe, the FDA in the United States, and the PMDA in Japan. Listed here are analytical conditions such as mobile phase, temperature and flow rate. And recommends the validation of methods with different columns. In this video, we will explain the influence of variations of pH in a mobile phase. There are many troubles caused by the pH of the mobile phase, in inquiries we received. Here you find three chromatograms. They were made with different mobile phases with a pH difference of 0.2. As you can see, this small difference creates large retention time differences, even when using a buffer. In this particular example, the system suitability test might has a negative result. Especially when the resolution has to be a value of 5 or higher. It is important to confirm a new method using several different pH values. The pH of the mobile phase is influenced by the pKa value of the analyte as well as the effective buffer range. We will explain these two effects. Dimethyl benzoic acid is an acidic compound with a pKa of 4.3. As shown here, the retention time is longer in the lower pH conditions. But what pH has the most influence on the retention time? The biggest change in retention time happens when using a pH around the pKa value. In this example, when a pH is nearby pKa value, the retention time differs by 4 minutes within pH difference only of 0.4. It means that the retention time is not stable when a mobile phase pH is set near the pKa of the analyte. We recommend to set the pH of the mobile phase to be 2 or more above or below the pKa value of the analyte. In this range, it does not significantly affect the retention time even when the pH of the mobile phase slightly changes. The fluctuation range of the retention time with pH values is different in analytes. As shown here, neutral compounds do not fluctuate regardless the pH. With respect to the buffer, a buffer works well when pH value of the mobile phase is close to the pKa value of the chosen buffer. The pH of the mobile phase should fall in between the pKa value minus 1 and the pKa value plus 1. Please note the difference between the pKa of the analyte and the buffer. We recommend to set the pH of the mobile phase in these ranges as much as possible. When focusing on your analyte, the mobile phase pH is set 2 or more above or below the pKa value of the analyte. When focusing on your buffer, the mobile phase pH should be between the pKa value minus 1 and the pKa value plus 1. Please make sure to note these two confusing contents. However, it may be difficult to follow these guidelines when analyzing multiple components. In this case, it is very important to test multiple mobile phase with different pH values. The decision regarding, for example, resolution value, should be based on multiple test results. In the example shown earlier, you might be in trouble if the resolution for the system suitability test is set at 5 or more. A resolution of 4 or more would be more suitable. In fact, this analysis is measured under the USP condition, and the resolution was set at 4 or more. Again, it is important to confirm in several pH mobile phases, for robust conditions when deciding the system suitable values. Thank you for listening. If there are any questions, 
please feel free to contact us again or visit our website for support.